Hello everyone. We're going to discuss hallux rigidus or arthritis of the big toe. Arthritis of the big toe is a relatively common uh, condition that can affect men or women. Even though we don't really know why this condition appears, we do believe that it may have to do with um, old traumas and injuries to the big toe. The joint that's affected, this is a model of the foot, and this is the joint we're talking about. It's the joint that allows the toe to move up and down. And what happens is with the arthritis, the space between these two bones starts to get thinner and thinner because of the wear of the cartilage. And this causes a stiffness of the toe and pain. So what can you do about it? There are some non-operative uh, treatments and the most important one is using what's called a Morton's toe extension. It's a little insert that you can buy over the counter or online and it goes under the insole of your shoes. And what this does is it stiffens up the toe and by allowing less movement at the joint, there's less bone on bone grinding and therefore less pain. If this doesn't work, then I recommend looking into surgical options. I'm not a big fan of injections uh, because they're not curative. They can alleviate the pain maybe for uh, a few weeks or a few months, but that's really pretty much it. If you do end up needing surgery, there are several options. You have the joint preserving options and you've got the joint fusion. The joint preserving options are indicated in uh, patients that do not have certain types of uh, clinical signs uh, on the physical examination. And this is something that the orthopedic surgeon will assess um, during your consultation. One of the procedures is called a chylectomy with a Moberg osteotomy. Uh, these fancy names uh, basically mean shaving of the big bone spur um, at the top part of one of the bones and then making a small cut uh, in another bone to allow more range of motion in the, um, in the toe. This can be done with a incision over the top of the foot or um, I prefer uh, doing it with a minimally invasive uh, procedure, uh, which entails making uh, two, um, two millimeter uh, small incisions uh, over the toe. What this does is it doesn't cure the arthritis, but it removes the most painful um, portion of the joint that causes pain. Uh, this preserves the uh, range of motion and in many patients, it can actually increase the range of motion. Uh, patients are allowed to walk on the foot immediately uh, using a surgical sandal, and then they can transition uh, into a sneaker or any other comfortable shoe uh, about a month, month and a half after uh, surgery. And at that point, they can resume uh, the vast majority of uh, sport activities. Another option, which is reserved in either patients that have failed this first surgical option or patients that have a much more advanced arthritis of the big toe is called an interposition arthroplasty. This procedure um, entails taking uh, some capsule and tendons in your own foot and interposing it between the two bones uh, of the big toe. And this basically recreates a sort of uh, padding uh, between the two bones so that you don't have that bone on bone grinding. Uh, this also um, can be um, addressed with uh, weight bearing is tolerated after uh, surgery. Uh, and then you can return to uh, shoes and sport activities about six weeks after the uh, procedure. The success rate of um, these techniques is uh, variable. The reported uh, outcomes in the literature uh, demonstrate a success rate that is about 
over 80%. Now, this can buy you a few years or it can buy you many years. In some cases, fortunately not too many cases, uh, it doesn't buy you much time at all, uh, at which point you need to consider um, a joint fusion. I'm not a big fan of joint replacements of the big toe. Uh, the studies and the literature uh, and my also personal experience have not been uh, particularly exciting. And so I never recommend uh, replacing the joint in the big toe. Joint replacements in other uh, joints, the ankle, the hip, the knee, the shoulder, they, they, they do very, very well. But unfortunately not in the uh, big toe, hopefully in a few years we will have something that is more effective. A last option is Cartiva. Cartiva is a synthetic cartilage plug that, like the previous procedure, the interposition arthroplasty, aims at creating a space, a, a fake space in the, in the joint to gap the two bones apart. Despite the initial um, results and outcomes of the Cartiva, we've actually seen an increased number of failures with the procedure, uh, for which reason I no longer feel comfortable um, performing it. Um, we still don't know whether or not this procedure makes sense in the uh, long run, uh, but it's certainly something that you can discuss with your uh, orthopedic surgeon. My own personal uh, opinion is not to to do it uh, yet. Uh, it doesn't necessarily burn bridges because if it doesn't work, you can always uh, convert it to a, a fusion procedure. So my recommendation as always is talk to your orthopedic surgeon regarding the possible treatments uh, of the uh, arthritis of the big toe, starting with non-operative treatments. And then if those don't work, uh, considering uh, surgery to correct um, the condition.